Alright, so this video is going to be part three of using Common McLaurin series in order to find a power series representation for a another function. Okay, so we have f of x is equal to sine squared x, and we want to find a McLaurin series for that function. Well, we're starting out with f of x equal to sine squared x. And what we're not going to be able to do is, is we're not going to be able to just use sine of x. Okay, we're not going to be able to use sine of x and say, okay, well, that's equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1 factorial. We can't use this because, well, how would you go about squaring both sides? How would you square this? You're not going to be able to, okay? So we can't do, we can't use sine of x here, okay? And, well, I definitely found that out the hard way doing this example in, in Calc 2. So sine squared x, you can also use the half angle identity, okay? And that's something we've done a bunch in Calc 2, especially in our uh, integration stuff. That's 1 minus cosine of 2x over 2, and that's equal to 1 half minus cosine of 2x over 2. This is something that's easy, much easier to do, okay? If we're trying to do, well, 1 half minus cosine of 2x over 2, what we can do is start off with cosine of x. And cosine of x is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 2n over 2n factorial. So, well, now we have a cosine of 2x instead of x. So that's going to be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of, now we have a negative 1 to the n times a 2x, okay? Well, and I'll, I guess I'll write that as 2x for now, but I'll split it apart in just a second here. Let's say that this is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times 2 to the 2n times x to the 2n. And that's going to be over 2n factorial. For this next piece down right here, we're going to have a negative cosine of 2x over 2. Make sure you don't forget that negative. Okay, and that's going to be equal to, well now we're going to have the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of, well, now we have a negative 1 times negative 1 to the n. Okay, and that is going to give us negative 1 to the n plus 1. Okay, if you're not sure where that negative 1 is coming from, it's from that negative right out front here. Now, <clears throat> we're dividing by 2, and we have a 2 to the 2n in here. So that makes this 2 to the 2n a 2 to the 2n minus 1. Okay, we have a x to the 2n. That's going to stay. And we have a 2n factorial, which will stay. Now, lastly, we're going to put that 1 half out in front. And that's going to be minus 2x, sorry, cosine of 2x over 2. And that's going to be equal to, well, 1 half plus this series. Why I say plus is because we already took into account that negative. So we're going to get plus the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n plus 1 times 2 to the 2n minus 1 times x to the 2n over 2n factorial. Now, while this is true, you can simplify this further. So I don't, I mean, I don't think you would get it wrong if you left like this. That depends on your instructor. But this is not fully simplified because this 1 half will cancel out with the first term of this series. Okay, so that's why I would be careful when you're adding something else to a series. You have the possibility of canceling out. So I would just check. You have, for your n equals 0 term, you plug in 0 for n's, and you're going to get a negative 1 here. You'll get a you'll get a 2 to the negative 1 here, so it's going to be a negative 1 half, and this is 1, and this is 1. So the first term of the series is negative 1 half, and that cancels out with the positive 1 half that you have outside. Okay, so what you can do here is rewrite this series as the sum from n equals 1 to infinity, okay, because the n equals 0 term got canceled out by the 1 half out front. And, well, you're just going to write now a negative 1 to the n plus 1, times 2 to the 2n minus 1 
times x to the 2n over a 2n factorial. Okay, so there you go. There is your Maclaurin series. Now, what is going to be your interval and radius of convergence? Well, we started off with a cosine x. So your interval of convergence will be negative infinity to infinity, and your radius of convergence will be infinite. So there you go. So just to kind of an overview of what we just did here, we started out with that function sine squared of x. We realized, we realized that we're not going to be able to use sine of x here because we're not going to be able to square that, that power series. Okay. So what we did was we used our half angle identity to describe sine squared x as one half minus cosine of two x over two. So we kind of took it in bits and pieces, starting from cosine x, we're just going, you know, we went on to cosine of 2x, negative cosine of 2x over 2, and then 1 half minus cosine of 2x over 2. And then we eventually got to this series, but not before realizing that this 1 half cancels out with the first term of that series. Remember, I said, be careful when you're adding something to a series because it does have the possibility of canceling out. Okay, so I would definitely, you know, look for that and, and, there you go, it did cancel out. So you get the sum from n equals one to infinity of negative one to the n plus one times two to the two n minus one times x to the two n over two n factorial. And your interval of convergence, the radius of convergence will be the same as it is with cosine of x, which we know to be a infinite interval and your radius is going to be infinite as well. All right, so that is gonna do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series, the explanation video for using common Maclaurin series, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.